Tyke here again. In today's video, I'm responding to multiple subscriber requests on the channel all at once in what I hope you'll think is an interesting video. We'll be using DeepSeek to write a university-style essay, then humanizing parts of it with GPT Human, Netus AI, No AI GPT, Walter Wright, and Grubby. We'll be evaluating the quality of the DeepSeek essay, the ability of the humanizers to bypass Turnitin, Quillbot, and Originality's AI detectors, and looking for any issues with the humanized writing. We'll also be improving the humanized essay using Grammarly, and checking out the quality of the writing and whether it can bypass AI detectors. But first, if you're a student or educator that wants to learn more about various AI tools and humanizers and what they're capable of, please subscribe to this channel. Like this video if you enjoy my content and want to help the channel grow. And share this video or any other video on the channel with someone that you think it could help or inform. If you've got a question about anything to do with AI in higher education, or you have a request for me to test a tool, let me know in the comments. I'll try to respond as quickly as I can. Thank you. To start, we're going to ask DeepSeek to write us a 2000 word essay on how AI humanizers are impacting students and educators in higher education. We're asking for at least 10 citations to credible academic work published in journals. We want it written in a formal academic style, appropriate for an undergraduate student. We want in-text citations to credible academic sources and a reference list not included in the word count, in the APA style. We're also going to ask for the essay to be written in UK English. Look at DeepSeek Go. We'll paste the DeepSeek essay into this document here. Let's humanize part of the essay. GPT Human offer an essay generator, an AI detector, and a humanizer tool, which gives us 300 credits to test it out. Usually one credit is one word with tools like this, so let's try it with 295 words from the DeepSeek version of the essay. It takes GPT Human about 30 seconds to run and we'll paste the humanized text into this document. We've got more text to humanize, so let's use Netus AI for the next part. We'll take 273 words from the DeepSeek essay, run those through Netus AI, and paste them into the humanized version of our essay here. We'll humanize the next part of the essay with no AI GPT. We've got 500 free credits with this tool, so we're going to humanize 449 words and paste them into this version of the essay. Next, we can humanize up to 300 words with Walter Wrights, so let's paste 257 words from the DeepSeek essay into this tool and add the humanized text to the humanized version of the essay. Finally, with Grubby, we have 500 free words which will allow us to humanize the remainder of the essay. We're not going to bother with the reference list. Now we have an AI essay that was humanized in part by GPT Human, Netus AI, No AI GPT, Walter Wrights, and Grubby. We'll use Grammarly to improve the text in this patchwork quilt of humanized writing and save this as a separate document. In total, that means we've got three documents to test with Turnitin, Originality, and Quillbot's AI detectors. The original DeepSeek essay, the humanized version of that essay, and the grammarly improved version of the essay. Let's run all of these through Turnitin. For the DeepSeek version of the essay, we get an AI score of 100% likely AI. That's every word in long form prose. For the text humanized with our multiple humanizers, we get an AI score of unknown. Turnitin is saying that parts of the essay are likely AI generated, but it's some amount of the text between one and 19% and it's not showing us which parts are suspected as AI writing to avoid the risk of a false positive or flagging human written work as likely AI. For the grammarly improved version of the essay, we get a 100% likely AI score. Again, every word in long form prose is flagged. Interesting, let's see how these three documents perform with originality. The DeepSeek essay gets a 100% likely AI score with the originality light detector. The humanized version gets a 69 nice percent score with this detector and a 77% likely AI score with the more sensitive Turbo AI detector. The grammarly improved version of the text gets a 100% likely AI score using the light detector. With Quillbot's free AI detector, we can only scan 1,200 words at once, but this will give us an idea of what the AI scores are likely to be for each of the documents. The DeepSeek version of the essay gives us a 100% likely AI score. 
the Mixed Humanizers version of the essay gets a 26% likely AI score. And the Grammarly Improved version gets a 100% likely AI score. Let's check out the quality of each of the documents that we created. We'll start with the DeepSeek essay. We asked for a 2000 word essay and DeepSeek gave us 1545 words. If we were a student, being under the word count may mean that we're missing out on the potential to earn more marks. We asked for at least 10 citations to academic work published in journals and DeepSeek gave us 7. Of these, all seem to be somewhat credible. Four are cited correctly, though there are issues with the correctness of the remaining three. Markers may be suspicious that a student didn't actually read these sources or check the citation, or that the citations were AI fabricated. Overall, the essay is constructed and written relatively well. There are some parts of the text where a citation could have been used to support a claim or statement that was made. Authors' names are used in sentences to add credibility to what was written, though the in-text citation may not be entirely appropriate to support the point made. In fact, the inclusion of several citations is very questionable. The argumentation is quite poor, and DeepSeek doesn't seem to know what an AI humanizer is in some parts of the essay. For instance, I don't know how an AI humanizer could help a student with a hearing impairment. And that's not really consistent with the definition of an AI humanizer that the essay provides earlier, as a tool that can improve the clarity, coherence, and emotional resonance of text, making it more accessible and engaging for users. If I were marking this DeepSeek essay, it would be a fail. It looks good and reads quite well, but that's just one aspect of an essay. Superficially, it's fine, but the argumentation is very poor, and the points that it makes are terrible and don't show any evidence of any thought or meaningful consideration of the topic. Moreover, the sources that it cites don't really support the points that it's making. I'd like to see more meaningful engagement with these sources, maybe a couple of direct quotations from them, providing a little more detail about how exactly they are applicable to AI humanizers, which would have really elevated this work. Even a quick search of Google Scholar shows that there are plenty of interesting looking sources that directly relate to the topic that weren't considered or included. Sorry, DeepSeek, that's a fail for me, dog. Yes, I know, the humanized version is just this essay reworked. We won't really be commenting on anything other than the quality and clarity of the text. GPT Human has added some quotation marks, though the citation does not include a page number of the quote. How could it? It wasn't present in the original version of the essay. The Netus AI humanized text is written in far too casual a tone. Actually, one of the cool perks, they make AI stuff more enjoyable. It makes learning a drag and hits you right in the feels. Really? Netus is a millennial humanizer then. Maybe if there were more text, it would say, hashtag adulting. Or, so, we did a thing. The no AI GPT writing is a little confusing in places. One of such is that it shall be able to assist. Giving feedback in the real sense and evaluation. This feedback loop in real time provides upgrade to the overly instruction quality. There are mistakes in the writing and it is not very clear. Another challenge would be raising AI humanizers. Do you mean developing or training them? This is a good example of an inappropriate synonym. Walter writes, it looks like it's adding multiple spaces between words, though there is just a single space there. Grubby has an in-text citation after the full stop at the end of a sentence and does not include it correctly. Overall, the writing quality is mostly fine for all humanizers except no AI GPT and Netus AI. It's a humanized version of an essay with terrible points, but it reads mostly satisfactorily. This would also be a fail, but it looks fine, it just lacks any substance. Finally, let's look at the Grammarly Improved version. You'll notice that this is significantly shorter than either the original essay or the humanized version, and is only 712 words in length. That's because it seems to have only improved part of the essay. That's what I get for using a free Grammarly plan. Overall, the writing is pretty good, though it carries over some of the issues from the humanized text, like quotations for which no page number or citation information is provided, and of course, the terrible argumentation used in the original DeepSeek essay. 
What can we learn from all that? Well, DeepSeek is a decent tool for writing an essay that will provide some accurate citations, though it lacks any common sense when it comes to presenting strong arguments for what it's saying. If you're using DeepSeek or any AI tool for help in writing an essay, be sure to check out the sources that it includes to see if they really do exist and support the point you're making. Are there any sources you can find using your university library or Google Scholar that should have been included? Think about the strength of any definitions or argumentation. Would you be willing to put your name on work with this argument? Humanizers are really improving. None of those used in the video were unreadable and tragic, littered with careless errors and typographical mistakes that no student would make. If you want me to dedicate more attention and a separate video to any of these humanizers, please let me know in the comments. From the limited amount of text here, no AI GPT was probably the worst performer with Netus AI number two. Though the humanized essay definitely wasn't perfect or undetectable with Turnitin, which suggested that AI was used. This applies to other AI detectors too, as this humanized essay got a 77% likely AI score with the originality turbo detector and a 24% score with the Quillbot AI detector. Grammarly was helpful in improving the quality of the humanized essay, though students out there need to be very careful about using this tool. If you're a student that is thinking about using Grammarly for an essay or assignment, be sure that you retain a copy of your work before you used Grammarly to enhance it. Grammarly used AI functionality to improve the quality of the writing, and it is flagged by AI detectors. Your lecturer or professor will probably be impressed with the smooth and clear writing and may want to ascertain whether it is really yours. Providing a draft and saying that you used Grammarly to polish the writing would be satisfactory evidence to avoid an allegation of academic misconduct for the misuse of AI. And that's it. If you made it to the end, you'd really help me out if you liked, shared, and subscribed. And I'll see you in the next video.